cutting off talk on changes to promise tax cuts. Our position hasn't changed. I've said our position hasn't changed. Our position has not changed. Over recent days, the Prime Minister and Treasurer appeared to lay the groundwork for the contentious and costly tax cuts to be wound back as inflation rises and the global economic outlook deteriorates. Fiscal policy should work in concert with that rather than against it. And that is what we have said. That's the context in which we're framing a budget. But despite that, the ABC understands it's highly unlikely they'll be paired back in this month's budget. These are uh, uh, due to come in in 2024. We're producing a budget in October 2022. Labor went to the election promising to keep the tax cuts which were legislated under the former government and are tilted towards those on higher incomes. Under the Stage 3 package, the 37% tax rate would be abolished for those earning more than $120,000. And all earnings between $45,000 and $200,000 would be taxed at a rate of 30 cents on the dollar. They've still got, it seems, in their back pocket the prospect or the option to reverse this key promise that they made at the election sometime between now and uh, in the next election. There are three federal budgets before the multi-billion dollar tax cuts are due to come into effect in July 2024. While the Prime Minister is adamant his government has not shifted its position, changes could still be made in the years to come. Nor Hader, ABC News, Canberra.